Welcome to my channel. Uh, my topic for today is how to and how to not ingest Excel data into data lake. So Excel, Microsoft Excel is most popular office software in the world. According to Microsoft, believe or not, there are almost 1 billion users of Microsoft Excel. So at some point in time, uh, HR department or finance department uh, will come to you and say, we want to have that Excel ingested in data lake so we can use our data bricks to perform analysis of that using SQL language. And I saw many architectures to ingest Excel data. For example, one which I saw is that you use Power Automate to copy Excel data from OneDrive or SharePoint to SFTP. Then you run script in some programming language using function app to parse that Excel. And usually some of the languages like Node.js or PHP are not too good in that. And then data is ingested to some kind of database. In that case, it was, it was Elasticsearch. And then you have Azure Data Factory, which is importing data from that database and orchestrate notebook in Databricks to finally ingest that to Data Lake. And I think that we don't have any more to use any other tools to ingest data from Microsoft and Excel than ingestion tools. There are some of these tools in the market, data movement tools from modern data stack. One of them is Fivetran. So Fivetran have a bit opinion that it's a bit expensive. But in fact, if you have small data set like Microsoft Excel, Excel actually it's extremely cheap. And in fact, for many others, it's also final result is much more cheaper than creating all these importers by your own and paying for usage and development time of tools to import and ingest that data. So basically you have few options. There is even free option which allow you to ingest for free half a million uh, distinct rows. So you pay only for newly and ingested rows, not for all of them every 15 minutes or whatever is sync time. Uh, there are also plans like in standard plan, you have 15 minutes sync in enterprise, you have one minute sync. So whenever data is added, it will be sync every minute. So let's say that we are on the most popular standard plan. Uh, then you have this pricing calculator and you, you can see that, for example, let's say to import 40,000 distinct rows, which is usually quite a lot of for Excel, the monthly price is $36. So it's, it's really good. And how we, how we do that? Yes. Basically when you use movement platform, like five trans, this is the only tool which you need to ingest Microsoft Excel. You don't need any other processes. So basically now when you go to data ingestion, in Databricks, uh, there is native Fivetran is natively integrated, and when you will search for for OneDrive or SharePoint connector, uh, you can just click and register it. So you click, uh, you sign in, and that's all. Also in connection details, it's pointing to SQL warehouse which it will be using. Actually, we have already deployed here SQL Warehouse. It's serverless. It's really good to ingest data because you don't lose time of deploying virtual machines. 
so when you go to five tran you have something like destination here you see our sql warehouse from databricks and you have connectors so we can click uh, ingest data through uh, databricks and click onedrive or we can click onedrive here the result is the same so okay we click onedrive and it is asking about us about some details so we have destination schema so in our main catalog it will create the schema with that name to ingest our uh, our data so we have some test folder because the import is per folder uh, so we have here employees table so we have three records uh here and let's let's import it so to import we need to copy uh, the url of folder it's include uh, unique identifier of folder so it's just taken from it that id okay and destination schema can be onedrive or we can call it call it for example five tran yes Okay, let's click authorize. So now it's uh, authorizing against uh, our uh, one drive. Yes, signing to one drive took more than I, than I expected, but we are finally here. Uh, we see that authentication succeeded so let's click save and test so it's connecting to our actual onedrive So now we can start our initial sync. So basically it doesn't detect yet tables because it haven't synced yet. Uh, there is a question about uh, like a schema evolution that you add new files or new sheet. Is it allowed or not? for now let's allow all of them uh, basically this setting is quite good if you accept that uh, some people can mess with that excel let's click and start initial sync so now it's starting our sql warehouse Usually, usually it's uh, pretty fast and then putting all our data into schema of our choice. So we see that our SQL warehouse were automatically started. So now the data should be inserted into our schema. We called our schema Fivetran and here it is. So we can see that employee sheet one is there. Uh, in one Excel inside, you can have a lot of sheets. That's why it's splitting it like this. And we can see that every line of our Excel got unique ID. So this is basically this ID which you are charged for because if the script will again import the same row, row, you will not be charged for the same row again. But if there is any change to that row or any new data added, it will be added automatically to your bill. So when we go to dashboard, there is option called usage 
and when you go to full billing, go to account usage for current month, you can see that a uh, few days ago I performed sync of another Excel file we, and there was seven rows. So that seven rows are included in that statistics but it's free because when you register account you got some rows for free also there is this option of free account when half a million rows are for free but you cannot import more than that so it's just for development purposes so you can try five tran for free and uh, I really recommend that because with that tool or ingestion processes to your data lake are much more simple. Thank you for watching my video and I recommend you to experiment with Fivetran ingestion tool.